All right, every week at this time, I take the biggest or second biggest, third biggest, top two or three games in college football. This week, there's one huge game in college football. I call it the spoiler alert. So if you don't want to know the result of the biggest game in college football this weekend, then please, by all means, turn away. Here we go. Warning, Colin is about to reveal the outcomes of the biggest college football games this week. If you don't want to know exactly what's going to happen, turn away now. All right, Michigan is going on the road to take on Michigan State. Uh, This is a tale of two different teams. Michigan, it's Jim Harbaugh's best team ever. Uh, They run the football. They pounded it for 300 yards and three TDs against Wisconsin, and you can't run on them. Uh, They have the best rushing defense in the country, not Alabama, not Clemson. They have, to me, they have the best defense in the country, but easily the best rushing defense in a rushing conference, the Big Ten. At quarterback, they've turned it around with Shea Patterson. They had an awful first quarter against Notre Dame and since then have been the best team in the conference. Meanwhile, Michigan State, it's an in-between year. Uh, Offensively, they allow the second most sacks in the conference, which is big trouble against Michigan's defensive front. And also Michigan State, one of the rare Michigan State teams that doesn't play great defense. Their running backs only average three and a half yards a carry. You can get to their quarterback, and they don't get to yours. Spoiler alert. Michigan wins this game 28 to 20. Let me just say this. Is that this game starts early, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. So by about noon, my time, and about 3.30, 3 o'clock to many of you, Jim Harbaugh will be in control of the Big Ten after winning along with Ohio State. It'll be 1-1A. One one um, let me give Jim Harbaugh credit. The One of the things I like about the NFL is even if you go 0-2, 1-3 to start a season, who cares? you got a lot of season left. In college football, if you have a bad quarter, fans bury you. The media buries you. Yeah, they had a really bad first quarter on the road against Notre Dame that's 7-0. and Yet yeah, Notre Dame should have beaten Georgia last year. Remember when Notre Dame lost to Georgia by a point? Georgia ended up playing for the national championship? Yeah, Notre Dame's good. NFL guys. They had the top two offensive linemen drafted in the NFL in April. And Michigan had the guts to schedule a road game. Alabama won't go play anybody on the road at a conference. Home or neutral site. Jim Harbaugh's a grown-up. Been to a Super Bowl. Didn't bomb in the NFL like Saban. More secure with himself. We're going to play big boys. Saban, you know, has got this complex where ah, I can't, I got to have a bye week here and neutral game. No, no, Harbaugh's a grown up. And Harbaugh after the weekend, and here's what's amazing is that the people think that we all know the political media is biased. The sports media is just as bad. They don't like Jim Harbaugh because Jim Harbaugh doesn't rush to Twitter and say snowflake and PC things. He doesn't. He's old school. He drinks milk with his steak. He's not always appropriate. He's clunky. Believe me, I know. He's rigid. He's hard to interview. And the media doesn't like that. The media wants people that say progressive things and are cool and are hip and are coastal and stuff they don't really believe. Harbaugh won't play that game. Harbaugh isn't liked by the media. But the media is biased because Stanford was 1-11 and when he took over. By the time he left, he was 12-1 and and won an Orange Bowl. That's pretty good coaching. He went to the 49ers. They were 6-10. and 10. Eight months later, they were 13-3 and three and played in the NFC Championship. And then Michigan was 5-7. and seven. And nine months later, they were 10-3. and three. Yeah, you can kind of coach. Hate to break it to you, media. But he drinks milk with his steak, and he's not PC, and he doesn't rush to Twitter, and he's not saying things that are progressive and cool and coastal. No, he's old school. He wears Dockers and that goofy Michigan shirt, and he drinks milk with his steak, and he's rigid, and he's rough, and he's hung up on me, or maybe I hung up on him, and I don't remember, but it it was odd, and he's difficult, and I love him because I like characters, and he's a character, and oh, by the way, Michigan's really good. They schedule really tough teams, and after the weekend, by about noon my time to one in the afternoon my time, it's going to be Ohio State 1 and them 1A. And by the way, Joel Klatt was on our show this week. He's watched both. He'll be doing this game and said this. I just saw Ohio State last week against Minnesota, um, and I've seen Michigan, even in a game in which they didn't play well, they were down 17 nothing to, to Northwestern before they came back and won. From what I've both seen on tape evaluating both teams and what I saw live, my new favorite to win the conference is Michigan. 
And Michigan just had, I would say, a top two, three team performance of any team in college football last week. Last week against Wisconsin, they were unbelievable. By the way, but he can't beat Ohio State. He can't beat Michigan State. Okay, he got a bad spot in Columbus, Ohio. He got a bad spot. If not, he would have played in the playoff. And then against Michigan State, night game, they had it one out, played them, and a punter couldn't catch and did something a college punter would do. He's really good. It's inarguable. You look silly arguing the opposite. He went to some school called San Diego and won. Stanford was the worst program in the country. He won. The Niners were a train wreck. He won. And at Michigan, 5-7 and seven to 10-3. and three. And they're going to win this weekend. And I know he's not cool, and he's not PC, and he's not a snowflake, and he's rough, and he's rigid, and he's old school, but the dude can flat coach. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.